How the heck are you, everybody? I am Vasidius. Welcome to my channel. We're going right into it. This is not going to be a long video. I wanted to give a guide, my expert opinion on what I think everyone should be buying from the dungeon shop. If you don't know, we have Gear Raid 4 unlocked now, aka the Gear Dungeon. And with the Gear Dungeon comes the Dungeon Shop. So in Gear Dungeon and Gear Raid 4, you earn these currencies. Uh, this thing over here, what do they call them? Dungeon Crystals. You can see I've got about 3,600, almost 3,700 with 71 keys left. I've been max efficiency farming. I did my five keys at the beginning. We start with 150. Took me five to get to six. Since I've been at six, I've done, I have 145 keys. So you can see I'm just over halfway done with my farming of six. Uh, we get, uh, it seems at like about 5,100 if you're at max efficiency, 51 or 5,200, uh, assuming it's always like this, which things probably will continue to evolve. Uh, it's gonna end up with somewhere in the 6,000s because we all got first time clear rewards or you will get first time clear, clear rewards as you go through all of these things. It is actually not so much currency once you see the prices in Dungeon Crystals of some of the things in here. So that of course really begs the question, where should you be spending this currency? So if you've got 3,600 or 6,000 Dungeon Crystals, where should you be spending it? Well, let me walk you through it right now. And let me tell you, cause there are just, there's an, there are obvious right and wrong answers. 1 million percent obvious right and wrong answers. Hey guys, Editor Fasty here. I just finished editing the video, and as I was editing it and watching what I was saying back, personally, taking my own advice, I realized I will not be buying anything from the Dungeon Shop this rotation. Uh, not going against anything I said, but actually, you know, I kind of key in on the two pieces at the end, stick through, watch the video, I explain everything. There's two pieces that are ancient pieces, and they show the substats, and we know that they're locked in on rolls. They're scripted, guaranteed rolls. And I think that's really nice, and I think that's what I want. So I was planning on buying one of those. I'll explain it in this. However, afterwards, I was editing, trying to take my advice as I listened to it, and realize Infernal Roar, Tempered Will, these aren't sets I need right now for a bangle. So I'm actually going to hold out to see what comes the next rotation of the shop. This is definitely like an end game luxury uh, decision that I'm making. You know, I'm gonna be able to just wait and I'm willing to take that risk and evaluate the next rotation because they'll cycle things in and out of the shop. You know, different pieces, different unidentified variants, whether maybe this time it's bangles, next time it will be amulets, and this time it's weapons, next time it's presleys, but also the sets. And I don't, I don't think I want Tempered Will or Infernal Roar now. So personally, I just wanted to put this at the front of the video. My big decision, I'm not gonna spend a single piece of currency. And I explain this later, but I'll just do this at the front now because a lot of people have been asking, your currency does roll over. I explain all the, all the specifics in the video, but if you do not spend any of your dungeon coins, any of your dungeon crystals, they're called, uh, you'll have it for next time. Next time that this comes back around in two or three or four weeks, the next Gear Raid 4 Gear Dungeon event. So I had to put that at the front because I don't want you to feel like gypped and cheated. Uh, I've personally, me, Fastidious, made the decision I'm gonna buy nothing. There's a lot of good stuff in here though, and I do explain what a lot of different people should buy based on what you've unlocked and where you are in the game, but I do wanna say, I'm taking this one off. Enjoy the video, guys. So first off, let's answer the big question. Does your currency roll over? Yes, absolutely. Your currency will roll over every time the gear dungeon reopens. TBD if the shop will always stay there open, but confirmed in the patch notes, confirmed by the devs that, you know, next time gear dungeon shop comes back around, if I didn't spend a single one, when I start with my new 150 keys, you know, on the next rotation, which by the way, could be anywhere from two weeks from now or four weeks from now for 400, it was three weeks. Certainly it won't be more than a month. Um, so it rotates in and out because it's such high quality stuff. Uh, if I had not spent a single crystal, I'd be sitting still at 3678. That would also mean I hadn't farmed my other 71. and That's not going to happen. So I'll be sitting at 6,000 or whatever it is, right? So that's, that's the first thing you need to know. So you can always choose not to buy stuff. Don't feel like, well, you got to use it or lose it. That is not the situation. It will roll over. You know, it hasn't manifested yet from what I've seen in the bag, but it has been confirmed by the devs on Discord and in the patch notes. Don't worry. But you can see a lot of things do roll over already. I'm looking for specifically, yes, this. Immortal Codex not live right now, but I chose not to spend 1,080 Immortal Sovereign last time because there was nothing else I wanted to buy. So that rolls over to this coming Codex, which actually opened today. So you can see that's from last time. I'll show you. I have not done a single thing. Oh, they moved Codex to Raid. I have not done a single thing in the Immortal Codex. It opened it literally today. Uh, what is that? Eight hours ago. Uh, and I've, I've done nothing. I've, I've not pushed a single thing. You know, I, I have zero points. I'm 500 away from F. Uh, but if we go to the Redeem Shop, I already have all this currency. That's from Codex, whatever. 
to when it ended two weeks ago, uh, the one that started four weeks ago. So now I have a leg up, and actually I'll just show you, this is with my old currency, I can buy myself the first of the 10 ancient summoning crystals I will end up buying. That's like the one thing I always buy, and then I'll, I'll buy diamonds if I, if I decide to. Uh, but yeah, I chose not to buy the gold and gave me a leg up this time. I'm thinking maybe one day they'll add more stuff, so I might just try to only buy these two and sit on a pile. However, that's not the point of this. We're not talking about this redeem shop. We are talking about the dungeon shop. So that I did have to lead with that because, because, because I don't know how I ended up back in the codex. Can you tell I'm a little sleep deprived? Uh, because they roll over, you can be a lot more prudent with what you want to do. You don't have to be like, all right, it's ending. Let me buy the freaking gold bonus and auto fights and random mythic gear. That's not good, right? No, just wait and grow your stash. So what she do? All of these unlock uh, just by beating stage one. The smoldering scales, this is just a mythic piece that is going to be one of the things you can forge. One of these sets, right? No way in hell. I'll actually show you right now. Just, 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 I was wanted, was been saving up for a 10 pull, but I'll just show you right now what that actually looks like. Could I pull like a mythic or variant, uh, ancient or variant piece right now of that? Sure. Am I going to? No way, right? You go to the foundry, you go to the forge. Of course, we were already on it. I pick a smaller scale, I'll do one time forge. It's just a normal piece. It easily could be an amulet with flat HP main stat. And what'd we get? This one's actually pretty okay. Uh, you know, I got defense bonus with some crit rate, some rage regen. Maybe it, puts, it goes on a defense-based damage dealer. Nothing too crazy, though. And I've already gotten some before. Uh, you know, I'll do one more now. I want to prove my point because uh, that one was pretty solid. I've already gotten one before. That was it was like a flat defense main stat right side piece. It's unusable, right? Uh, there you go. Hell's Lament. Great. Trash. <laughs> I'm glad I pushed it. Oh, I'm not glad. I wish it was amazing. But, you know, you can get variants and you can get ancients from here and you can get nice gear, but you can also get trash. So are you going to spend your crystal on trash? No way. You'd have, to, you'd have to be a total fool. Oh, look, I can go, I can, uh, I can head right over there like this. Nice, fast. Okay, so do not buy this. It's basically just buying like one run. You're spending 200 crystals to buy like one run of, uh, one extra run here, right? Because that's what you can get from the year. You can get this as a drop or you can get gear, blah, blah. It's actually worse because you can get double drops uh, and you can get, uh, yeah, you can get all these other materials and stuff. So, so no way. Absolutely no. It's like buying less than a key worth. Don't do it. <laughs> auto fights, no way. If you're hurting for auto fights, look into options. I'm not going to say explicitly, but a lot of people are out there using macros and stuff like that, uh, which seems to be a gray area because like every top guild's doing it. I checked with the devs. They're like, yeah, okay. So figure that out or just, uh, you know, buy them elsewhere, uh, find them elsewhere, save them up, get them for the shop for gold. I always do that. Skip it. Uh, gold bonus, absolutely not. Absolutely not. You can get one a week. Just time it out properly. Never spend 400 crystals. That'd be like one fifteenth of everything you're going to get from the first time clearance rewards and maxing out gear eight six, uh, stage six, gear eight four max efficiency. Absolutely useless. Random mythic gear. It says five of five. You might think you're getting five pieces uh, if you're reading it wrong. No, you can just buy it five times. Let's say you same way you can buy this one 10 times. Absolutely not. It's just a random mythic gear. This so easily could be like a uh, Hawkeye piece uh, with flat attack uh, amulet, right? No way. Completely useless for 200. If you're only gonna get on average after the first time clearance rewards about 5,000, a little more than 5,000. So 125th of what you're getting comes out to like less than a single run, and it could be trash. No way in hell. At least the other one could be new gear. These, this top row, never. I don't care if you're a brand new account. I don't care if you're anything. Never. If you are able to un unlock this first row, it means you cleared stage one of Gear Aid Four. If you cleared stage one of Gear Aid Four, it means you you've cleared all the 18s right? You've cleared all 18s, gear aid one, two, and three. So there's no world you need this stuff, especially these on the corners. Absolutely not. You know, we t this is just disgusting. Gear re recasting hammers are terrible. So they're saying for 100 crystals, you can buy one fifth or one sixth, excuse me, you need 30. So they're valuing this at 600 crystals. I'd value it at zero. It's useless. And you have to buy uh, fragments and you can only buy enough. It takes two rotations because you can buy three uh, bouts of five not now and three little groups of five later. Uh, so over two different events for, for Gear Dungeon, absolutely no way. So this is, by the way, where things start unlocking. So let me tell you, this unlocks right here, this shard at stage two. We're not buying it, don't worry. Then the random uh, ancient and the unidentified weapon, and it will change whether it's weapon or breastplate, um, you know, in future rotations. You know, it all depends. It's you know, These things are going to cycle in and out of the shop. Uh, this unlocks at three, these two, these two things here by clearing stage three. So really important to clear stage three because that's when we finally get into good stuff as we'll get to very shortly. Now you can buy a full gear re recasting hammer for so much, so much currency or like one eighth or ninth 
of everything, everything that you're going to earn if you're at stage six clearing max efficiency, which, which a lot of us will not be. Absolute full skip until they fix rear recasting hammer. You might look at this the way I did, and I was like, well, I remember they said something that you'd be able to reforge or re-roll, excuse me, ancient gear, because currently you can't do that. That's not what this is. That will be called like a chisel, I believe, or something like that. Um, there's a different name for it. That is not at all what this is. Uh, this is just to do normal non-ancient gear, and it, I've done it so many times on test server. Like, it's like a 1 in 20 chance you get what you're looking for. Freaking useless. Total waste of your currency. So to circle back to these two, this is a guaranteed ancient mythic. It's pretty solid. 2,000. I don't think it's worth it. Like, you know, it, it easily could be a Soulbound Arcana attack ring with crit damage, crit rate, attack speed, and rage regen. You know, or it could be a, a life force uh, <laughs> life force weapon with HP bonus, flat defense, flat HP, and maybe, or let's say, HP bonus, heal effect, uh, flat defense, and flat attack. Something like that, right? Just trash. Like, just, it's it's not worth the risk, right? You got to go for, for the big stuff. That's how I feel. However, this is the first thing that we've encountered that, like, yeah, you could buy it if you want. You know, if you're thinking you want, you're, if you're a gambling man or woman or person and you're you're able to get this far and maybe you somehow, I don't know, you decide instead, obviously I think you should go for the variant as we're going to get to first if this is how far you make it. Um, but if you like, all right, let's just uh, save, do 2000 because I want to save more for future stuff. I think actually it would be a decent play if you're antsy, but not too antsy. Um, this could make sense. I, again, I would advise against it. And when I conclude, you'll understand why. Uh, and then this one's pretty good. It's your first chance to get a guaranteed variant piece. So it's unidentified. You'll have to identify it. However, total gamble, right? We have a huge list uh, that we've been, been, been compiling. Shout out to Seamus and shout out to Quaz who sent me the list he's working on. And the list of different variant stuff is very long. And some of it's great and some of it isn't, right? So for example, I was on an account the, uh, the other day, I think it was yesterday or the day before, who had like an Annihilating Might weapon with really nice, it was a variant. So it was like ancient style rolls, very nice DPS stuff. But then what made it variant, right, is the special effect that shows up at the bottom, right? Uh, the special effect that it was was called Benediction when HP above 50% plus 9 or 10 to heal effect. And it was on like it was on like a lust. Who cares about heal effect, right? So at that point, it's just an ancient. At that point, it's just this. Could you get some of the amazing stuff? Could it be renewed vigor 60 seconds after being deployed plus 5% to all base stats? I mean, that is cracked, right? Uh, here's a great like tanky one well nourished the ultimate uh one percent max hp plus size increases five stacks so you get bigger you get tankier and you improve your total max hp when you're ulting i mean this stuff is really good right but could it also just be stoicism plus 200 defense yeah it could right so who who can, to me it's it's a big gamble uh to, to go for this specifically uh, as you can see, I'm really working up towards something. I think there's really only one things you can really buy with the limited currency we have right now. Obviously, we skip this, the gear recast hammer. This unlocks at stage four. And now stage five is the big thing, right? Stage five is where it, when it gets really hard. I say stage three is when it gets hard at all. Uh, if you've beaten all the 18s and you farmed at all, one and two you should be able to do with the right strategy. Three, all right, now it's a slight, tiny DPS check, but you can still totally manhandle it. The mechanics don't matter too much. Stage four, now the mechanics matter. The thresholds aren't insane, but you're getting like proper late game content. Stage five is hard. It's equivalent, I'd say, to like stage 21 dungeons, maybe even slightly harder because it's supremely, uh, it's a big DPS check. It's actually a nice tank check as well. And it's supremely hero dependent, a lot of it. Five less than six. And then six, it's like super hero dependent. Huge, huge gear check, everything. It's the hardest content in the game, right? But five is when it really ramps up. And that's when you can get this, which is the best pur purchase in the shop. I'll tell you about it one second. We're going to conclude on this. But this is a bird in the hand because we know everything about it. Then we've got this, same exact thing, except this bird is not nearly as nice, and I'll get to that very shortly. But basically, it's a great tank DPS piece, specifically for a defense-based tank. Um, but is that really what you're going to spend most of your currency on, a defense piece? It could be amazing. I mean, it is amazing. We know how it rolls, right? But it's not, not, not worth the purchase. DPS is king in all of these games. If it's between these two, it's got to be, unless you're like totally simping over Crotor gone or trusk or something it's a very cool piece but it is not you know i just to me it's not worth it compared to this which is again where we're going to conclude and i'll say this bangle they're valuing this bangle as better than this weapon now at first if you're like me and you're wondering why this one is getting valued at less than this one i thought okay because that's left side gear and they think right side gear is better that's actually not the case you can actually tell by this red and yellow question mark in the box thing um they this is guaranteeing you a premium set piece so this can't be like the wisdom it will be soulbound arcana right 
or it can't be uh, the insight. It would be infernal roar, things like that. It also could be a not DPS piece, but if you you know if you went to the the foundry, it's gonna be it would be all of these stuff, right? Like all of these red and yellow higher end stuff that have 10% higher main stats and you know the more premium effects. So that's kind of locking it in. So that's actually why it's it's being sold at a premium. It can't be any of these gray and black things or off blue or whatever these colors are. So you're guaranteed these red and yellow premium sets. So that is the markup. So that does make this pretty nice. But again, we don't know what it's going to be. It could totally be like HP bonus with like bad substats, right? Something you're just not looking for. You know, we all want to get this and it's like Soulbound Arcana or Infernal Roar with like perfect stats and then the effect is incredible, but almost certainly it won't be. It's a total rip at the slot machine. If you're a gambler, go for it, but for the same price, you can get this and we know exactly what it is. The substats are already told, right? So it's perfect substats. Attack, bon attack bonus is the main, attack is king in this game. Then we get crit rate, crit damage, attack speed. And then the fourth one, you're, you always get those three on these sets, right? But the fourth one, this is the, or nearly, almost always, that's that's a kind of the main standard. But then once you get those three, it's an 80% chance that it's gonna be a trash fourth subset, and then a 20% chance that it's gonna be Rage Regen or one of the really good ones. I think it's Rage Regen and Flat Attack. Flat Attack might be in the other group. But it's much, much lower chance to get Rage Regen. You're getting it here. This is what I would call a perfect piece, right? Amazing main set, perfect subsets. So how's it gonna roll? That's the risk, right? No, it is not. So it's actually completely locked in. It is baked in. This is what the piece is gonna look like. Shout out, shout out to Dezes, to Dezesito, hard name to say, Dezesito. I made a call because I've, I've many people sent me pictures of this. I've confirmed it over many accounts. This is the guaranteed rolls you're gonna get. And I get it, not too thrilling. Uh, three of them are purple, literally the lowest possible purple roll, the men, the minimum, right? The minimum. So people might feel cheated. Then the crit damage one coming at 24%, high blue, not even hitting purple. It is annoying and it does take a lot of fun out and I wish they just showed the rolls uh, and that we didn't have to find this out for ourselves. That is scripted rolls because I do think that's kind of shady. However, if we can put all that behind us, this is the best thing we could basically hope for besides like a 0.1% chance of, of getting really lucky on something else. It's perfect subsets. We're still getting the rolls. It's all viable. You know, do you wish it was like 25% crit so you can rock only four pieces with crit subsets? Sure. Do you wish the crit damage was gold? Sure. Do you wish all this stuff was higher? Yeah, but it's 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 locked in. You know, it's Infernal Roar. You know you're going to use it. It's perfect main stat, amazing substats. For me, this is what I will be buying. Uh, and it's just, it's a bird in the hand versus who knows what in the bush. Um, so... You have to go for this, in my opinion. It's the ultimate no-brainer. Like I said, if you're infatuated with the other stuff, you can go for Tempered Will, new sexy set, whatever. Uh, it'd be great for like a defense-based tank. Uh, could be could be really good for a lot of stuff. I mean, this effect is really cool, but who really has a Tempered Will set yet? I guess it's an investment, but DPS is king. Uh, sorry, when I was showing that, I had not taken the picture off, so I'll show you right now. Uh, you know, Tempered Will one is pretty cool, but for me, it's this, it's this. And I and I get it, and you guys can, you tell me I'm wrong or get angry in the comments, it's fine. I think it's disappointing. I do. Like we, I've seen dozens of this. Everyone's got exactly the same roles. These roles are completely locked. It's completely scripted. That being said, if you didn't know and it was sold in the shop, this is this is actually how I'll conclude. If you didn't know and it was sold in the shop like this, right, and you could see all those roles, so instead of it being question marks, which again I think is shady since they already scripted it, but this is what you saw popping up in the shop, wouldn't you buy it? <laughs> You'd be like, ah, I wish they could t give me higher rolls, but oh, maybe that's why the price is lower because it's uh, guaranteed to give me all that stuff. Uh, so if you saw it like this in the shop, wouldn't you get it? That's kind of where I settle. And and I would. I'd be like, yeah, 4,000. Like if, if I my whole event, you know, I found other stuff. This event, I actually got one amazing Infernal Royal Amulet, uh, the best Infernal Royal Amulet on my account. Amazing might be a stretch. It's good. It's the best one and it's on my Zealot 2 now. You can get drops like that. But if you told me from the whole event, I was guaranteed only this, I'd be pretty okay with that. I mean, this takes me months of farming. I, I think maybe I have one, one uh, bangle on this level in my whole account, maybe two. Some people might have way better. I guess if you're a super Kraken whale slash you farmed a ton, super end game, maybe you have a huge collection, but I think almost anyone, this will be an upgrade. Uh, and then you get a trickle down, down effect, right? So you put this on your seal two, and then the one goes on to Cetrum, and then it goes on to this person. And you know, the previous best piece keeps cycling down uh, your roster. So it's a huge upgrade, I think, for most players. I think it's a must, must buy. So the final thing, the final thing we have to talk about, and sorry, this went a lot longer, so I'm happy I just got right into it. The final thing we do have to talk about is, all right, Fastidious, but I'm only clearing stage two. I'm only clearing stage four, and you're telling me to do this. Well, 
this is going to repeat every every month or every two weeks or three weeks and there's definitely they're going to follow the pattern there's no question they always do right so i presume at the bottom for the stage five stuff you will unlock these things with guaranteed substats uh and guaranteed roll, what they are going to roll and nice main stats and full information do it just save that's why i led with the whole thing that this rolls over you know, I, I don't think you should go for anything else. I think if you're clearing only stage one, don't worry. In like a month or two, you'll come and you'll have finally cleared stage five or month or three or four, whatever. It, there's nothing here that's going to upgrade your account that isn't a total gamble. Rather, just wait, stockpile. And then when you get there, two cycles from now, three cycles from now, four cycles from now, you have a pile of 8,000 or I don't know how much you'll stock up on the lower levels, but a significant pile. You can go in and maybe you can purchase both pieces or maybe they've added other new, more guaranteed stuff. But for now, it's just not worth the gamble for me. The only things I would go for if you really want, if you're antsy and you just need progression and you're willing to you know, pull the slot machine, you could go for this random mythic ancient and this unidentified weapon uh, if you want uh, from that you unlock with stage three. But if it was me, I would wait until you can get to stage five and I would always just buy out these guarantees at least until the shop changes. And if you're not there yet, just stockpile and wait patience is an amazing thing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this answers some of your questions. I've been fastidious. If you like my stuff, like it. Follow me on Twitch. Share it with your mother. I'll see you real soon. Fastidious.